Hi guys, are you everyone doing well? Welcome to my channel. In this clip, we want to learn how we can create an automatic generating C -sharp script for our project. Okay, let's take a look at an example of this uh, technology. For example, in this scene, uh, Autumn Script Maker, uh, on the main camera, I've added this script. Let's take a look at the variables of this script. For example, uh, your script should uh, should has uh, a name. For example, call it test script. Uh, your script uh, must have some uh, uh, libraries. For example, for usings, uh, I've added these uh, libraries here. For example, Unity Engine System System dot generic uh, collections dot generic and i can add tm pro as well if your scripts uh, needs to have namespace you should write here if you don't want to use namespace just leave it uh, empty i i want to add my own namespace for example lm team dot uh, a script maker okay and the final part uh, you should you can add regions here as well for example serialize field variables private variables public variables unity calls public functions private functions or whatever you want they are totally customized and you can add any names for these regions or leave it uh, empty for example, I want to add another regions uh, buttons. Okay, and final part is you should cl and click on a script maker. While you click on a script maker, after you re refresh your assets folder, you will see this is uh, this is script test a script. Okay. Let's take a look at it. I've added Unity Engine, System, System.collections.generic, and using TMP Pro, the name space is Alone Team .script Maker and the public class Test Script. And in here, I've added these regions, which you can add any uh, variable you want. For example, say you like it, field private game object test obj something like that or for others as well in here for example in unity calls you can add void start and yeah void update whatever the unity uh, main function functions has or yeah here buttons I already added it and this is the last bracket of the class and last bracket of the uh, namespace. Okay. Now I want to remove this script and open the auto script maker to figure it out how we can make it. All right. Here, script maker. Okay. This part is our script maker. And this part is just for that button we already have for a script maker. This button. So, first I want to take a look at the main part, a script maker and pop uh, class auto script maker. First, you should have using unity engine and all the defaults and system.io and unity editor okay and in here these are the main uh, variables which we have public string code name this will be the public class name and the file name in here we can uh, we will have a final code which is uh, save on our C sharp script for example if we want to add a 
using we will add to final code plus equal if we want to add name and space here plus equal and the class name public class code name plus uh, double dots mono behavior and here so the final code is that thing we want to save in this part save as C sharp script as a final code in the C sharp uh, uh, file here we will have a list of usings and here the name and space which we want to add and the regions here okay while we call this a script maker function first we will reset the final code uh, because maybe we for example we want to create two uh, script files with the different variables so we should uh, rem uh, restart and reset the final code here so at the first moment uh, we will put it as an empty uh, string variable and one by one we will check all functions okay let's make c sharp script in here and refresh okay now from the top first part uh, first part is using uh, add all usings okay look at this add all usings to the first of a script in the four we will have the i plus zero uh, equal zero and i less than uh, usings count usings leak okay so the final code is plus equal using a space this space is important uh, plus usings i and semicolon this semicolon is important and also plus slash n this one it and uh, takes your uh, line to the next line and make makes something like this uh, using a space using engine semicolon and the next line next line is for example using system using space system semicolon next line and um, it's going to continue until the last element of the using list okay after the using list if the name space is not empty okay let's add the final uh, final code plus equal we want to make a, uh, an, a space between usings and namespace this empty space so we will add slash n plus namespace and the space and the name of that namespace we want and go to the next line and in here we will add the uh, open bracket and go to the next line look at this free space name a space with the empty space name of my space alone team dot script maker go to the next line open bracket go to the next next line the next line as far as you can see that uh, this is the uh, class name public class name and the mono behavior i've added final code plus equal public class and the code name the code name has to be same with the file name as well so i use the code name for the public class and in here in the save c sharp script as a file name as well and plus uh, mono behavior plus go to the next lane line and here final code open bracket go to the next line the next part is adding these uh regions here for example uh, as you can see the region has a sharp region the name of region a space and sharp end region and next line space okay now take a look at it add all usings uh sorry add all uh 
regions. Oh god. Okay. Add all regions to the first of a script. To the a script. Okay. Here we'll say and uh, in the four we will have a uh, check of all the regions count list. Here final code plus equal the next line first plus sharp region a space this space is important and the regions i uh, that's id we will get from the four and go to the next line and finally again uh, which we want to make this empty space and uh, this empty space go to the next line first and sharp end region and go to the next line look at this sharp region name of uh, region free space and sharp end region and again go to the next line for the next one again 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 until the list of uh, regions will be finished okay after that we want to close our class I say and close the uh, public class. Okay. Final code plus equal. Go to the next line. Close bracket. Go to the next line. Look at this. After the last region will be done, go to the next line. Add the bracket and uh, close bracket. Go to the next line. And in here again, we will check if we have namespace. And we will uh, repeat this uh, function again because, as far as you can see, the correct script already has two brackets. First, for the public uh, public class, and the second is for the namespace. Okay, we will repeat this function again. Uh, go to the next line, close bracket, go to the next line. And the final part is C sharp saving. First, we should have uh, an address and the name of file. I called it test saver, text saver. It's a string. Uh, this is the address until here is the address of our uh, c -sharp script you can add any address you want I, i've decided to save my script and uh, as its folder you can choose whatever you want and here this code name remember this code name has to be same with the public class name so I use the same variable and the final part is the format of the file. The format of the C-sharp file is .cs with the small letters here. And in here we will check if we already have a file with the same name and the same address. File that exists. Test saver. Okay, let's delete it delete it and finally if we don't have this one okay let's go from and uh, go here if we have uh, a file with this name delete it and in here we'll say file dot append all texts and in here uh, test saver this is the address and name this is the final code which we want to uh, save as a full description a, a script file and the, uh, it can be the final space here look at this this is the final space maybe you can uh, have it maybe you can as you wish okay and the last part of this auto script maker is making that a button of a script maker this button maybe you don't need it maybe you want 
as you wish. But in here, uh, first you should have using Unity Editor, and in here, custom editor type of this class name auto script maker because you want to call this function a function of this script public class my script editor okay cool Ed editor and here public override void on inspector gui gui and in here draw default inspector call this function and uh, make a very a local variable of your uh, auto script maker uh, function uh, class inside this my script auto script maker my script and the target is exactly auto script maker this is the button generator if GUI layout dot button I call this button a script maker look at this you can call whatever you want okay uh, when I click this button this function uh, of my script auto script maker call it a script maker this function has to be public as well okay this is the uh, structure of this auto script maker. For example, I can add two and regions. I can add photon and the name space. Uh, they're using. I want to remove it. Okay, and again, script maker and refresh. Here, test a script two. Look at this. I removed this one and I've added the region photon as well here. Okay, I hope this tutorial will be helpful for you. Don't hesitate to ask any question related to Unity, AR, VR, and XR. And uh, like this video if you like it. I will put the source of this auto script maker in a page of the my website and put it uh, the, and put the link of this page and uh, inside the description of this video have a great day bye bye